what's good? Darman, Gen Z girl won't listen to her mum. She instantly regrets it. I'm just finishing the freaking SMA video recorded. Dumbass video. Piss me off. Like, just, just stupid, stupid as hell. Shouldn't have even been made. But we going to jump into this one. <laughs> Hopefully, guys enjoy it. Hopefully, y'all doing good. Make sure you take care of yourself, man. Because me, let's get it. I think, what's her name? Catherine? I frick with Catherine. She looked good. Up, she looked good to me. Hey! She looked good. <laughs> It is too early for this. Exactly. So why are you still here? Yeah, get your lazy butt up. I am not but, but today. Right. <laughs> no, this is funny because this has happened to me when I was when I was uh, uh spending a couple days with my grandma, spending the night over with my grandma. This is when I was a young bucket jet, uh, probably like twelve, thirteen. We was, we had to get up. My grandmother's very religious. She's like, come on, we got we got to get ready for uh, for Sunday to church. I was like, all right, I'm going to get up and get up. I'm still asleep. I'm knocked out. Quay, come on, it's time to get up. Mm, it's still sleeping. So what she did, she got a cup. <laughs> she got a cup of water and freaking and freaking threw it at me, bro. <laughs> it got me up, but I ain't going to lie. I was hot the whole day. I was hot. That <laughs> joint pissed me what off. What the heck, Mom? You're welcome. Yo, don't tell Sarah, but it's something about the mom. She look good. What are you wearing? Go change right now, L. Don't start. Are you trying to show off your tattoo? Fake tattoo. It's cute, isn't it? No, you are need you to wear some Are you trying to put me in the crazy house? Okay, mom, that is so politically incorrect. Don't start with me, L. How dare you get a tattoo behind my back? It's fake. First of all, you were underage, which right. means you probably went to some sleaze ball in a shack with a dirty needle. <laughs> okay, Lord, okay. Right. This is not euphoria. Relax. See? It's not even real. <sighs> yeah, take that off, man. That's the thing. She moving too fast, man. Not only that, like, the fit is not... I'm just not... As a parent, if I was a parent, if I'm putting myself in her shoes... I'm, I I can't go for this, especially for my daughter. Not only that, it's like you already know how how niggas niggas are weird, niggas are creeps. You know what I'm saying? Like you know they could be looking and be having certain type of thoughts in their heads, certain type of motives in their mind. So I don't want to set my my daughter up for failure by having her dress like a you know what I'm saying a, a a slight lady in the night. So we need to cover that up, man. And yeah, if you want to wear that extra the extra loose stuff. Hey man, you got to do that when you're out of my freaking home, though. Facts. Facts, man. Please go change. But Quema, she's trying to express herself. So old fashioned. You might as well call me Laura Ingalls. She can. Just with a First different of fit. all, uh, Little House on the Prairie is a good and wholesome show. You should There's try watching it sometime. Now, I'm not going to ask you again. Yeah, you tell him, huh? I like this. It's way more appropriate. I'm seriously so excited. I can't decide what I'm going to wear. I know, right? I think I might need to stop going. Elle, did you ask your mom about the party tomorrow night? <sighs> Tell, no. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Corilla. <laughs> Less texting and more cleaning. Why do I have to clean anyway? We are a team in this house. I do the cooking and you do the cleaning. Oh, well, if I that. was a mom, I'd let my daughter do whatever she wants and I wouldn't be standing at the stove cooking every night. Well, that's good that you're not the daughter, bro. Now, I'm not saying uh, 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 daughters can't have no, like sons or daughters can't have no friends. I'm not saying being super restrictive. But at the same time, you have to have some type of guard with your truck. If not, they're going to be running around like, like got... Like goddamn Tiana Trump, bro, be running amok, okay? Buck wild, literally. Especially like little girls too, little people in general, like jits in general. But especially little girls, mad impressionable. They gonna get, they gonna easily to influence, and they gonna be like, yo, you should do this. Like my mom let me do this. I don't understand why she, why she won't let you do this, or why she can't wear this. Let's go with this guy. Nah, nah. 
Now you gotta have some type of boundary, G. Really? And then what would you eat? And if you didn't clean, you'd get cockroaches. You hate bugs. I love cockroaches. Pizza every night. Minus the roaches. And please, roaches only live in New York City. <laughs> what is she talking about? Okay. So, there's this party happening tomorrow night at Ashley's house. Turn on your location. You can go. As if. long as you're home by 10 p.m. It's a Friday night. <laughs> Can't we bend the rules just this that's, once? That's not bad. Everyone else gets to stay out till one. I am not letting my 16 year old daughter stay out all night partying. Facts, and she already done extended the olive branch. Like, yo, she even let you go at 10. Like, I. If, if it was my daughter, like, wait, can I go to a party? <sighs> it first, it depends on how she's been acting during the week. Second of all, of course, I got to have your location. That's not even being controlling. Just in case something happens, I know where the frick you are, okay? And her putting it at 10 o'clock, that's, that's fair. That makes, that makes sense. That's cool. I don't see no wrong. Your old school parenting is the reason I'm going to need therapy one day. <sighs> Seriously, Al, your grandma would not have even let me or your Aunt Sloan go to the party. Mm. I'm not going to apologize for having a few rules. I'd like to think I'm pretty flexible. Well, think again, Paula. See, You're damaging your daughter. What you said? First name? Well, think again, Paula. You're damaging your daughter. God dang. Man, if I would have said my mama's first name, I would have got popped in my mouth. Ain't no freaking way. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about y'all, but in the house, nah, I can't I can't be calling my parents by the well, at least my mom. My stepdad, I call him by his his first name. Mama? Nah. Heck, heck, heck nah. Wow. You better not wear anything revealing to that party. Wow, and she wow. That one is slut. I wouldn't have went to the, the party. The right. And I would have got beat. Of course you want me to look like a grandma. Should I wear a turtleneck with it too? Sure. Elle, I am not trying to make your life difficult. I'm just trying to be your mom. Now she's okay? doing a good job though. So, then let me stay out late tomorrow night. Like, bro, Please, she let, mom, just this once. She let you go to the party, God dang. Okay, how about 10.30? Is that a deal? 10.30? <laughs> That's nothing. Will you work with me a little? The latest I ever do is 10 p.m. Just give me the brush. Jeez, please. <laughs> please. Ain't no way. Just leave me alone, Mom. Yeah, no, I can't. Like, there's no way this is sliding in the house. I, I, I can't be in, in, my, in my mom's house under her roof. And I'm like, just leave me alone, ma. She, man. Who you think you talking to? Who the one to put that clothes on your back? Roof over your head. Food on your plate. I can kick you out and have you fed for yourself. Sorry, mama. Sorry. Can you believe she told me I'm damaging her? Oh, that's a typical 16-year-old manipulation tactic. <sighs> Don't fall for it. Yo. I don't know. I, I think about these things, Sloan. Why is she doing Especially, her makeup? Especially, you know, growing up with our mom. Makeup she terrible. She was so tough on us. I'm still healing. Awful. I, just, I don't want to mess up Elle, you know? Oh, trust me. You took all of mom's good parenting qualities. Anyway, Elle is 16. She's going to hate everything you say right now. And then one day she'll thank you when she realizes the grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs> I learned that real quick. <laughs> Come to think of it, she's a lot like you. <sighs> Her makeup skills are so ass. God damn. <laughs> oh. Wow. Um, like a toddler just did that. Different. It's no. a bit over the top, but thank you for letting me practice. Never again. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I have my first gig as an accredited makeup artist on a horror film. I get to do gory special effects makeup. Yeah, well, this is definitely spooky. So, <laughs> you're lucky I love you enough to let you do this to me. Well, you know what? Next time Elle gives you a hard time, I can turn her into a zombie. No. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? I was checking to see where Al was. Oh. Can you believe she's already home from the party by her 10.30 curfew? 
Well, maybe she's finally hearing you. Nah, she just left her phone at home. Maybe. Watch. You gotta go. I'll call you later. Oops. Yeah, her phone just left at home. Ew, bro, please take that off, Queen. Please. you humiliate me in front of all of my friends how could you stay out past your curfew and then try to trick me <sighs> i'm so over this don't you think i am too Al, you give me a hard time every day no you give yourself a hard time by constantly trying to control me she's just trying to look Ever out heard for of you the too. let them theory maybe you should read up on it actually i have and you know what it says? There are three instances where you actually do step up and say something. One of them is when someone is in danger or when they're doing something unsafe. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to twist it with your old school toxicity. <laughs> Not even toxicity. She just watched that like like it's it's one of those things. I ain't gonna lie. As a jit. I was a little, I was a little bad jit constantly. Like I always gotten not always getting called from school, but I was always on some like uh unsatisfactory needs improvement uh 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 playing around rough housing and freaking in class and i got a whole lot of beatings whole lot of spankings so much so this to the point it's like god dang like i feel like everywhere i turn around i get spanked i breathe around i get spanked but being older as a seasoned man i understand it because i was wild i was wild but sometimes it just take time for for a jit to understand that they end up growing older sometimes not only that it's like, bro, like she giving you so much leeway. She she working with you, and you still think it's like not nah, like she constricting, like a freaking boa constrictor. Nah, she actually actually breaking breaking some of her rules a little bit, like the ten thirty joint. All right, fine, ten thirty. I mean, it's only thirty minutes, but still, it's a freaking. Person. Being a normal sixteen year old isn't unsafe. <laughs> I know you hate me right now. It is actually, but I care about you, Al. And I want what's best for you. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. You're a bad mom. Damn! Just like your mom was. Damn! I wish I had a new mom and you'd be out of my life forever. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, Elle. Niggas couldn't get away saying that to me. Bro, please take that freaking make off. You're looking like a freaking ugly drag queen, bro. Golly, why, why take that off? You ain't pissing me off now. I'm trying to look at your beautiful face and that and your sister messed it up. What happened? Elle was still at the party. And when I confronted her, she said she wanted a new mom. That's my stuff though, that is my stuff. It's then maybe it's time we give her one. Especially when there's, there's kids out there that don't have any parents. And she's not um, abusing or nothing who either. Who are you? And where is my mom? Hey, I'm Piper. Your new mom. <laughs> I'm calling the police next if you don't leave now. Relax. Your mom is safe. She hired me to take care of you while she went on the spiritual retreat. I don't like so that bull noise. How long is she supposed to be gone for? I don't know. How can she not tell that's her freaking mom? One, two, uh, completely unrelated, bro. I don't like women with this that bull nose ring, looking like a freaking a freaking bull, like a like I'm a matador. I'm I got the red little what you call the thing majigger, the fabric, and they about to come in and just. I don't like that. Take that off, Queen. Take that out. A while. Please. I don't understand. She just 
left about saying anything? Oh no. She said Poor thing. She was left. You wanted a new mom. Well she was left. here I am. Okay, <laughs> is this some kind of joke? No, L. This is very real. Paula is gone. For how long? A few months? I don't know. A year? Oh. I don't know what to say. I mean, you're definitely the opposite of my real mom. Which, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, she's a little slow. At all. Bless your heart, man. So what do you say? You want to go have some fun? You need to change out of those lame... You want to smoke some fentanyl? Let's <laughs> first. Yeah, I know. Let's hit a little Actually, bit of desire. would it be okay if I wore a crop top? Honey, you can wear whatever you want. Frick Live your man. life. I ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> I mean, that crop top ain't really that bad. Crop top ain't really that bad. I thought it was gonna be something crazy. Your leg joint be like here or something. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is gross. Her mama. Ted, little she know her mama right there. Morning, sunshine. What time did you get in? I don't know, like three. But before you get mad at me, you should have stayed home later. I always did. You want some coffee? No, I'm okay. But breakfast sounds great. Mm. To DoorDash. Never mind. There's no food. We can just DoorDash something. I know it. That cook. might take a while. Yeah, Maybe cook. we should cook something? Ah, dang. Do you want to cook? I know I don't. Yeah, you're right. She got them Let's things out. The mom, of course. What? The mom. There's roaches! <laughs> and I thought roaches only lived in New York City. Yeah, me too. So I guess we should clean this all up then, right? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Right now, I got a surprise for you. You are getting a tattoo. Yeah, I'm messing with, right? I'm messing with Ma Fit. I like that. Your mom says you've been wanting one. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Uh, but what happens when my Don't mom finds out? out? Yeah, you just keep them covered up. That's what I always do. <laughs> Don't you have to be 18? Yeah. Here's the deal. I know a guy. He's got an underground tattoo shop. My friend Shady said he'll do it for you. Emina? Shady? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Marshall Mattis? What's the problem? Isn't this what you always wanted? Yeah. You're right. Sorry. I just, I'm not used to having all of this freedom. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting a tattoo. This is wild. We'll stop and get McDonald's on the way. Really? My mom never lets me have fast food. Are you sure we shouldn't clean all this up before we go? Eh. I'm sure the roaches will die on their own. Maybe they'll do us a favor and eat the trash. <laughs> Shady? Yep, that's me. Uh. Hey. Nice to meet you. You don't know this guy? I thought you said you were friends. We follow each other on IG, so same thing. Tight shit. What are we doing today? This is it. Hmm. On my arm, below my elbow. Okay. Have a seat. Here. Oh, that's cool. Come on, see so you want the tattoo? Come on. Tattoo time with my bestie. Is that what you're using? Is there a problem? Are you sure this guy knows what he's doing? I mean, he's got a lot of tattoos, so probably. I mean, you'll be fine. 
What's the worst thing that could happen? Like, you're stuck with it for life? A little hepatitis <laughs> ain't hurt nobody. Come on. <sighs> little eight. <laughs> Wait, don't you have to sterilize my skin or something? Nah, it's all good. I don't believe in any of that safety nonsense. Stop, I can't do this! Whoa, what's the problem? Chicken. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Sorry. Lame. Hey. I should you want a tattoo. Yeah, I'll be fine. Good. My buddy's having a party at a nightclub. We should go. Don't you have to be 21? I know the bouncer. You'll be fine. Right, You're even 30. Get tight. dressed. Actually... Yeah, we need the other mom back. I think I'd better go to bed since I have school tomorrow. <laughs> you serious? Lame. Do you think you could brush my hair before you go? <laughs> what, do I look like a hairdresser? Hard pass. Peace. <laughs> The number you dialed is not in service. That's so gross. Time to get the cleaning, little jet. It's time to get to work. Yeah. About time. And what is this freaking copyright free audio jungle as freaking soundtrack? <laughs> yeah, man. About time made stuff useful. Missing her freaking mama. She ain't no real team, though. A real team would have been eating this up. Being able to do what she wants. Well, mom, can I bring can I bring my boyfriend over? Can he spend a night? Yes, of course. He stay as long as he wants. Yeah, no, can't go for it. If I had a daughter, she talking about some bringing a guy over. Freak. Me. Might not even let her have a boyfriend. Maybe, cause even then she might sneak it behind my back. <laughs> so crazy but about a week ago my mom and i got in a fight and i wished for a new mom so she went on some retreat and hasn't been answering any of my calls so who's been watching you well in a weird way i guess you got exactly what you wanted right a new mom yeah but that's not what i want not anymore i made a big mistake auntie Please help me get my mom back. I realize now that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. What the heck? Mom? Why do you sound just like... Mom? <laughs> what? How? But, but when? Why you have how? tattoos. She didn't know. Oh, guilty. <laughs> Wait a second. You're in on this too? Hold on. Someone please tell me what's going on. After the other night, when you told me that you wanted a new mom, Aunt Sloane came up with a way to make that happen. Yeah, man, I don't know why she wanted a new mom, man. Her mom was perfectly fine. Literally. <laughs> Physically. I, ain't gonna, I don't know. It, must, I don't, it, it might be the eyes, though. I don't know. I'm freaking with her. Don't tell Sarah, though. Shh, shh. Just keep it between us, man. Just keep it between us. But the mom, I don't know. I, I, first time I seen the mom, I was like, yo, low key, I, I don't know. I'm freaking with her. I, I think it's the eyes, though. Eyes. I like a girl with some with some beautiful eyes. I freak with them. I used my makeup Thank skills you. to transform her into exactly what you wanted. Yes. A cool mom. <clears throat> and just like that, the I went from Paula to Piper. <laughs> so you could see what it was like to have no rules and a mom who didn't give a rip about you. 
rip. Wow. wow. I actually didn't know, bro. It Still. worked. Piper was pretty cool. And you can be pretty annoying at times. But I need a mom. A real mom. Not just someone who's gonna let me do whatever I want. So I try to tell you. Uh, I get that now. I'm sorry. I am so proud of you, honey. And great job cleaning, by the way. I'm impressed. So let me make you something to eat. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, me too. I'm I got hungry. it. I'm sure you want a shower. Feed me, mom. Wow. Yeah. I am really loving this new L. Respect. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, I do have one last question, though. Does that tattoo offer still stand? Because I think I want it. Not a chance. <laughs> that is the blue. Maybe I do want Piper back. Damn, already? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, already. See, the mom came back already on some, uh, maybe I do want my mom. I mean, freaking Piper back. Gen Z girl won't listen to her mummy wummy. Like, the, 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 the mom was being mad reasonable, okay? Just like, she was, everything she was saying was making sense to me. I don't see nothing wrong with what she was saying to the daughter. Um, but of course, you know, I, I think what it is, too, is like, you just growing up, you kind of, you have that sense of wanting some, wanting some freedom that and you get influenced a lot. Kids get influenced a lot by freaking what they see with their friends. Well, my friends got this. My friend's mom let me do this, this, this. So I don't see why I can't do that. Do that. But now it's like it's it's more like a, a protection, especially now when people are being weird. Especially, I feel you gotta be even more protective with daughters because men are freaking creeps. Freaking get snatched up, kidnapped, traffic. Assaulted all type of stuff. So you really gotta be extra, extra, extra careful with the with the the the, the female jits. Um but eventually they might not understand at the time, but as they grow older, they're like, oh okay, I get it, it makes sense. Cause I was like that when I was a jit as well. I was like that uh now. But hope you guys enjoyed it. If you already know what to do, man, if you had a daughter daughter, make sure you're in her life. Okay, and a son, because we can't forget our, our young kings. Please be in their life, please. If not, they're going to be growing up being a freaking degenerate, okay? They're going to be having the world and goddamn the media, the government, freaking freaking dictating their lives, okay? So we need, that's why you need that, that strong nuclear family structure, okay? Literally, all right? But, oh my God, Jordan, comment square, aka your favorite uh, mom. <laughs>